everyone welcome back to another video so we had a restful sleep here last night it's nice to feel refreshed after the, the shuttle drive here um, this pool looks really inviting right now it is I don't even know what time it is right now it's almost nine o'clock and it's super humid today April 1st and we've got some clouds which means green season's coming soon <laughs> and then it gets a little more humid hot and humid um, but yeah, so we're gonna head down into Santa Teresa and just gonna give you guys our first impressions, our first impressions of Santa Teresa. We're gonna wander around and um, just hit up some shops and kind of show you guys what to expect. Also gonna be doing a, a raw walkthrough video. I will explain some stuff as I see it. We, I, we haven't walked the whole thing, so I don't know everything in town. But that'll be a different video that's gonna come out before this one, so you can go to the link here. And we are also going to Kooks, which is a smokehouse barbecue place restaurant in town. Greg's invited us there, and he wants to show us the, the smoking and wants us to try the food and show you guys what the atmosphere is like. Stay tuned for that video as well. I will put that link above here because it's gonna come out after this video. And uh, yeah, that's it. We're just gonna wander around, come back here, afterwards and jump in the pool cool off and show you guys what, what the pool is like Just let you know how warm or cool it is um, this is very similar to the pool we're going to be building at Sicasa which it looks like we're going to be able to do this year um, which is awesome you know that's one thing we're missing at Sicasa so yeah it's gonna be nice to have the pool but yeah similar design I don't know if the tile will be sim same as this but we don't want to do like the penny tile we want to have something that looks natural like that and close to the same size so yeah excited for that so stay tuned for that build series coming up uh, just waiting for the taxi now our car's still in the shop it's in San Jose getting the engine rebuilt just one thing after another sometimes so we're having a taxi so uh, he's our, our taxi guy from last night Brian is uh, he's can't come today or this morning so he's gonna find someone that can get us yeah, just gonna wait for the taxi and then we're gonna head into town and show you what it's like. Hold on. Going in. So we just got dropped off at the main corner here in Santa Teresa when you're coming down from the hills. And uh, yeah, gonna, Shane and the boys are just gonna wander into some shops. I'm gonna meet up with them later. It looks like there's a beach entrance right here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch over to filming the walkthrough video now and then I'm gonna meet up with them after and we'll just show you around what we experience. Um, but yeah, let's get to that video. You guys again can uh, click the link below and watch it. So yeah, <laughs> I've hardly even gotten anywhere and I'm already sweating in the walkthrough video. Just ran into a cool guy at the surf shop down here. Uh, he's lived here for 20 years uh, at his buddy shop who's from Calgary in Canada. So yeah, it's cool to just chat with him and uh, he wants to move somewhere a little more tranquilo <laughs> than Santa Teresa. So I'm just walking back up to the corner here to continue on with the walkthrough video. All right, so I just finished filming the walkthrough video. That's a long walk. I am so sweaty. <laughs> just booked a tour as well to go to Isla Tortuga. It's a very touristy destination, but 
We really wanted to check it out, show you guys what to expect on that tour. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. It's like white sand, crystal blue water. Um, we did get rain last night, so hopefully that doesn't mean it's gonna rain on Sunday when we're there, but if it does, then that's just part of the adventure. So yeah, now I gotta walk back to the other end where we started, go meet up with Shayna and the boys, see what they're up to. But I need something to drink. I need like electrolytes or a cold coconut or something. Yeah, the tour company tried working a deal with them just to promote them a bit, but uh, unfortunately, I guess they're busy enough that they don't need it. Uh, there's a few tour companies in town. I did reach out to all of them with no luck. I guess it's busy enough here that they don't need to do any uh, promotion or anything like that, which is fine. We still want to do the tour and experience it. So yeah, <laughs> gonna find something to drink now. All right, so yeah, that's uh, definitely one thing. Santa Teresa is a surf town. There's surf shops everywhere. Everyone's carrying boards or have them on their bikes. So if you're looking for a good place to surf, definitely come check out Santa Teresa. Or Maupai is supposed to be really good as well. It's more uh, laid back. We're gonna head over there tomorrow on some ATVs, so stay tuned for that video. To kind of do an off the beaten path video tomorrow with our friend Jamie who lives here and has also built container rentals. And he's also working on another project. But yeah, so far, uh, it's a cool spot. Definitely um, lots of uh, restaurants, lots of shops. But we'll uh, fill you in more at the end once we've experienced the whole day here. There's a supermarket here. I'm gonna get some electrolytes. There's like no shade right now either. So um, if you can't find a cold coconut, these electrolytes are really good. It's one thing that we've learned living down here is water's good, but you do sweat out all your minerals and your sodium. So you do want to have bad salt. I know we've said this in other videos. And you want to replenish like potassium and stuff. So bananas are really good, watermelon. Uh, coconut's the best because it's an actual electrolyte natural. So yeah, if you can find those, that's the way to go. All right, so I'm gonna continue walking back to the entrance of town. All right, so I found Shayna and the boys. Jade and I are hanging out outside right now. Shayna and Lakai are in the store looking. We've walked back towards where I was, <laughs> where I got the uh, the electrolyte drink, just because there's a shopping strip here. I wanted to check out, but yeah, uh, super muggy and hot today. Very humid. Um, I think we might try and get a taxi back to Banana Beach if we go there, just so we don't have to walk anymore. I'm actually getting blisters because I'm wearing shoes for the walkthrough video because a lot of you didn't like the flip flop sound. So I'm getting blisters so that you guys are happy. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want to sit down and take my feet out of my shoes. All right, so we finally made it to the beach. We're at Banana Beach, you're gonna have lunch there. We did decide on that. Um, so yeah, the beach is a beach in Costa Rica. <laughs> it's uh, We're so spoiled because we live here, we get to see awesome beaches all the time, but I can see why people love this. Um, nice light sand, uh, good surf, as you can see out there. A little rocky, it's a lot like Tamarindo actually. And uh, it's quite long, so yeah, it's really nice. So I'm gonna head up to Kooks to film a little bit for that video um, of the smoking. And then I'm uh, gonna have lunch here and we'll show you what we have.
on the beach, had to get a, what is this called, an ice beer margarita? It's called ice beer ice margarita. margarita. It's like a, um, what do they call them? Bulldogs. Bulldogs or whatever they're called, yeah. So very, uh, very much needed with uh, how hot I am. After all that walking. After all that walking. I had electrolytes, so I can have beer now and margarita. Nice and limey. What? Courtney. Yeah, it's funny how small these are. Oh. <laughs> Holds more than the glass does. Everyone says it's a very beautiful beach, but again, like I said, when I was walking on the beach, we're so spoiled because we have Samra and Playa Carrillo, which are like the most stunning beaches. So it's okay to us, but I can see how people coming down, um, this is the first beach they go to in Costa Rica, they'll be like, oh wow. But yeah, yeah, exactly. They're all beautiful in Costa Rica. They're all differently beautiful. Like this one has more rocks, like I said, but. I mean, the sand's nice, it's white, so. All right, so we just got back to the Airbnb. Our taxi drivers have been awesome. Uh, we got Brian's contact from uh, the list that Peter has here at the Airbnb. And the, we, I messaged him on WhatsApp. He speaks English. And if he can't come pick us up, then he sends someone else. So the couple guys that he has sent have been really nice as well. Uh, the last guy, super chill. I uh, gave him some cards, gave him a sticker. And um, if you guys do need any taxis in Santa Teresa when you're here, then in the description below, there's gonna be Brian's. And then, um, I can't remember what the other guy's name is. Um, sorry, <laughs> I didn't introduce myself to him, but um, yeah, their numbers are below. So if you guys need taxis in the area, they're, they're amazing. Like I said, if Brian's not available, he sends somebody else. He's got, uh, he's got the hookup for everybody that uh, taxis around. So um, yeah, it's been a full morning of sweating and walking. My uh, feet are finally out of the shoes, which they're happy about that. If you go jump in the pool, I'm gonna get some shots for the last video, which you guys have already saw, which is uh, talking about this Airbnb. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're just gonna hang out. We got some, uh, got some drinks to have. We got the uh, Mamitas. That's a uh, tequila soda. They're nice because there's like 1.3 grams of sugar. It's super healthy as far as drinks go. And then uh, some Tonya, which is a Nicaraguan beer. So we're gonna have a couple of those, hang out. Um, not gonna have too much because we still gotta film the Kooks video and uh, eat some barbecue. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys that video and what it's like. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I'm gonna go jump in the pool. So nice to be in a pool again. <laughs> We're just discussing the pool for Sikasa because we've kind of had this same similar design idea for ours, only it's deeper in this one. So we, we want to do like five feet all the way around, well, in the deepest, so that you can still stand and have a drink or just stand and chat and then have seating on the corners, do a waterfall, and then have a little shallower area for kids that stay, they can play in it as well. So yeah, it's nice to kind of visualize the size of what ours is going to be. This is Brian. He's been like our number one taxi driver. Uh, I said earlier too, when he can't come pick us up, he'll send someone like the other guy. Um, so his number is going to be in the description below. So when you're in Santa Teresa, add him to WhatsApp and message him and say, I need a ride and he'll help you out. He's been amazing. 
His English is good, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. good great hospitality. <laughs> yeah, and uh, he, his family's lived in the area for how long? 150 years or something? Maybe 100 years. Around 100 years, 100 yeah. Years, so yeah. he knows the area, so you won't get lost with uh, with Brian. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> So we just got down to town in Santa Teresa. We're at Kooks. We're gonna be filming the uh, video for that restaurant right now. Greg's not here, he had to run to Mount Pai. Um, so you guys will meet him in that video for Kooks. But yeah, it's a really cool spot. They actually have an upstairs, which is like all like, closed in, air conditioned. It's more like a bar scene up there. Downstairs is all, all cool as well, like lots of tables. Um, awesome smoked meat. Can't wait to try it. Uh, I was here earlier and I got to see how a smoker works. He imported it from Texas. But yeah, you guys uh, definitely go check that video out and see what Kooks is like. I'm gonna go continue filming for that one right now. All right, so we just got back from Kooks. Uh, it was amazing. We got ribs, brisket, uh, pulled pork sandwich, smoked brisket in mac and cheese, smoked cauliflower. Um, you guys just saw that a bunch or some of that stuff anyway on the overlay right now. But definitely go check out our video there. Um, I think it'll be out next. If not, it was already out, but yeah, either way, go check that video out. Definitely worth it. He was asking us for like any tips or pointers or constructive criticism. And there was really nothing we could give him. So he's really doing a good job there. And, uh, yeah, he started it like a couple months before the pandemic and now, you know, it's starting to take off, which is cool to see. So go support him, uh, tell him we sent you and, uh, you'll be happy to see you guys there. So, um, yeah, we're back at the Airbnb now and Lakai wants to go in the pool cause the lights are on. So we're going to go to do that. All right, so it is the next morning. All right, so our first impressions on Santa Teresa. What do you think? Yeah, I like it we'll here, back, actually. Yeah. I can see why a lot of people like to visit here and stuff. It's definitely quite busy, of course, but I mean, it's high season, that's yeah. to be expected. There's lots of tourists around, yeah. along with the people that live in the area, but um, yeah, just that, that nice long straight stretch of all the different restaurants and the shops and stuff like that. It's really enjoyable to just kind of wander. I mean, walking feels a little <laughs> dangerous, but we're used yeah. to that because in Samar, we don't have a ton of sidewalks and there's a lot of places in Costa Rica that don't. Yeah. So um, we're used to that. So you're just walking on the main road and kind of got to be cautious that way if, yeah. you're, if you're walking right but um, it's nice to just go in and visit all the little boutique shops yeah. and tons of surf shops for people that like like to surf and need some necessities um, and a good good variety of like tons of different food food, food choices options, yeah, and like stuff like that the restaurants ethnicities and stuff yeah, that's, yeah that's one thing we've noticed and so far everywhere we've eaten has been really good so um, definitely a foodie town mm -hmm. and uh, like Shana said a surf town uh, the surf here is really amazing that's why a lot of people come here there's a ton of surf shops I was a surprise like when we need to buy another surfboard we're gonna come here yeah it seems like there's more than actually in Tamarindo so yeah the beach is really nice too yeah exactly with the nice white sand like you guys saw um, with the video I did on this camera as well as on the drone and very long beach as well so and yeah definitely gonna be coming back here and visiting uh, now that we have friends here as well so it'd be cool to come see them and uh, yeah just explore more in the area we are actually gonna do another video today which you guys will see after this video we're gonna ATV to Malpai and then up to a waterfall so stay tuned for that video yeah, we're very excited actually yeah. um, this is another area in the Santa Teresa area that we've been looking forward to seeing like yeah. Malpai and some of the other places so today's like totally yeah. new adventure yeah, and, exactly. and being able to go you guys know that we love uh, going on our quad and going yeah. around and exploring and stuff like that so being able to do that here is is very nice to to get to see everything yeah exactly yeah. from a quad is the way to go so yeah we'll leave the video off here if you guys like the video please leave a thumbs up uh, if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come with new videos and we'll see you in the next one ciao ciao